Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking pineapple fried rice. So let's start cooking. Now I'm going to show you how to make a pineapple boat or sometimes we call it a pineapple bowl. Uh, you can leave this if you want to but I'm going to cut this off. So just take a sharp knife. Normally I'll just cut slightly above the edge of the pineapple. So somewhere around here, just cut it off. Now if you want to use this as a display by all means, all right, I'm just going to put this aside. We need to find the best position for the pineapple so that it won't roll around when you put your rice in. So we just roll it a little bit and then you just find the best position. Okay, where it's most stable. So I think this will be good. So I just go to cut off a little bit over here, the cover part. So what you do is take a knife, be very careful when you do this. Don't cut too much down, otherwise you don't have enough room to fill up the rice. Right. So somewhere around this region will be good. So slowly just put your knife in and sort of just slice it over. Like this will be fine. You'll just put this aside. We need to hollow this up, so just be careful, don't over cut into the pineapple. So just using your finger as a gauge itself. Now if you can see this properly over here, somewhere around here will be good. Okay, so I'm just going to put my finger over here so I know where to stop. So leaving about an, an inch from the skin, just going to put, push this down, then just go this way. Same thing for the other side. Okay, so we draw three lines over here so that it's easier to scope out the flesh. Now how do you judge whether the pepper is sweet enough to make this dish? Look for golden skin, that means it's ripe. Okay, now we'll draw a few more lines over here to make this into cubes. Using a tablespoon with a sharp edge like this, put it down in one corner and you just take it up like this. If you need a little bit of strength, all right? Then just put them aside. Slowly we'll take in more and more. There's a lot of juices over here. So just be careful, don't spill it because it will attract ants. This will need a little bit of patience, so we'll do it slowly. Now I suggest you take a bowl to pour out the juice. I'll just pour off the juice. I'll use my knife to cut the core of the pineapple again because it's very very tough, very hard. So just to cut it deeper, okay? Just to make sure that the core detached from the pineapple and 45 angled down just to cut off the core so that it will be easier to scoop up the flesh. Using a spoon again. Right, this is the hardcore. Sometimes people would like to eat this, sometimes they would like to throw away. For me personally, I like to eat this fibrous part. It's very crunchy actually. But we won't use this for the fried rice. So once you've removed the core, try to cut as deep as possible, but be careful not to cut through the skin. So same thing, using your finger as a guide itself, how much lower can it go? Right? Later I'll show you how it looks like. Now we have hollow out the pineapple. So this is how it looks like. We call it a pineapple boat or pineapple bowl. We have scraped the rest of the bottom up and also there's a lot of juice as you can see from here. Now for this you can actually make it into pineapple jam or even a pineapple drink if you want to. You are only going to use 100 grams of the meat from the pineapple. You can keep it at this size or if you want you can cut it into half even smaller than this. And of course if you do not want to go through the trouble of carving out your own pineapple boat or using fresh pineapple, no problem you can always use canned pineapple. 
All right, I'll show you how to do the fried rice in a while. The ingredients for the fried rice will be 120 grams of chicken meat. I'm using chicken thigh over here. You, of course, you can use chicken breast or chicken fillet, not, not a problem. And 100 grams of prawn meat. To marinate the ingredients for the fried rice, I'll be using half a teaspoon of corn flour for the chicken, as well as half a teaspoon of corn flour for the prawns. One teaspoon of light soy sauce for the chicken, as well as one teaspoon of light soy sauce for the prawns too. And just need a little bit of white pepper for both. Mix them up well and leave them to rest while we prepare the other ingredients. I'll see you back in a while. I have with me over here overnight rice cooked from two cups of rice. I'm going to add in two beaten eggs. I'm doing this because I want to mix the eggs up with the rice evenly. Alright, and also try to break up all these lumps of rice. Okay, so this is done. I'll show you how to make the sauce for the fried rice. For the sauce for the fried rice, I'll be using 2 tablespoons of light soy sauce. We'll mix it up with half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. If you do not have turmeric powder, you can always replace this with curry powder. And I will also be adding in 1 teaspoon of chicken stock powder. If you do not have chicken stock powder at home, no problem. You can use pork stock powder or any other stock powder. We'll mix this up and leave this aside. We'll fry our rice now. We're going to fry the rice now. Heat up a pan. I'm using the Shogun Non-Stick Pan by La Gourmet. Add in approximately 2 tablespoons of oil. We need a little bit more oil over here because we'll be frying some shallots as well as garlic. Swirl the oil around. I've sliced thinly three shallots, put them in. This will impart a very nice fragrance to the rice. Fry them for a little while until you see the color change to a very, very light brown color. Then we'll add in garlic. This fried rice is very flavorful because you put a lot of ingredients inside this. It's very popular in Southeast Asia and you can get it in almost every country in Southeast Asia. Alright, when it starts to brown, you add in 3 cloves of garlic chopped. I'm frying this over medium heat now, so be very careful, don't burn them. Next, we'll add in the chicken. So turn the heat down a little bit to medium or medium low. We'll add the pearls in when we see most of the chicken has turned white on the outer part. We just need to cook this a little bit because prawns won't cook as fast as chicken, so we are putting it last. So as you can see, the chicken has changed color to a white outer layer. We'll add in the prawns now. It smells really great. We'll cook this for a minute or two just to cook the prawns about 80% done and then we'll add in the rice because we don't want to overcook our shrimp or our prawn okay now we'll add in our rice point your rice and mix them up well you can turn the heat up to medium or medium high now but be careful don't burn them through Mix it up well. This is going to be so flavorful. You add the seasoning in in a while. We just need to dry the rice up a little bit and make sure that the coating on the rice is cooked. Now we're adding the seasoning for the fried rice. Give it a good stir again. Spread it on the rice. Mix it up well. Right, you can see that the color has turned to a very nice golden yellow color. This is what we want to achieve. This is going to be so flavorful and so good. 
you add in a little bit of white pepper this up again now the rice is almost done we'll add in the rest of the ingredients now we have added in 24 grams of raisins the 100 grams of pineapple that we have cut just now as well as 30 grams of cashew nuts the cashew nuts I'm using is those unsalted one so we mix them up well and then we we'll just give this a final taste to make sure that it's savory enough for us look at how beautiful the colors are I really love this one final taste Mm. very flavorful very nice I just think we need a little bit more salt so I'm adding in half a teaspoon of salt now and one final mix okay time to serve this beautiful dish and now we're finished cooking our piper fried rice so let's have a taste Mm. Mm. really really very fragrant the sweetness from pineapple the various ingredients the crunchiness from the cashew nuts this is really really good so ladies and gentlemen i hope you like our video do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel thank you for watching mm. So this is how it looks like. We call it a pineapple boat or pineapple bowl. You guys say banana. Banana? Yes. This is pineapple. I know, but when you first started, you said banana. Oh, let me. Now I'm going to show you how to make a banana boat or sometimes they call it a banana bowl. Uh, you can leave this yeah. in what? The rice in this banana bowl. Oh, let me. <laughs> <laughs>